Many of you were here last session, but for those of you who are new, my name is Maggie Day, and I'm the product manager at Surefire. So what does that mean? That means I get the really cool job of deciding what we build, talking with you, finding out what you want, and how I can make your life easier. So one of those ways is many people wanted to be able to make phone calls directly from the CRM. Pretty cool. So I'm going to show you that. This feature is being released this month. It is not ready yet. You are going to see it in a beta environment. So uh, if the takeoff is rocky, please give me your grace as we go through, okay? So the first thing that you will do, actually let me check, who in here is, you're not a client yet. Anybody else not a Surefire client before I, okay. I wanted to make sure that we have the right context before I just like whoosh, jump right in. Cool, good, all right. So what you will do is under your CRM setting, Let's go to our master settings here. You will need to claim a phone number. So you'll go in, you'll you'll go new number. The, the number claiming is actually really cool. So you can do a contains or by area code. So if I wanted to look for a number that contained my name, it's actually going to, hopefully, I forgot this is in a beta environment. <laughs> There's none. And you're doing that under what, uh, CRM settings? <laughs> yes, exactly. So you can look for things that contain your company name. You can look for, like I'm in the Seattle area. You can look for your, your area code, 404 if you're in Atlanta, or 206 if you're in Seattle. Uh, I've got a 425 number. Um, so you can claim, you know, whatever you like, right? Contains a phrase, something cool, 1-800-GET-LOAN, I don't know, right? <laughs> And you can do 800 numbers, you can do regular local numbers, obviously regular local numbers, you're going to have more success with outbound calls, of course. Okay, so once you have your phone number set up, it is really this easy. So you'll come to a contact that you want to schedule a call for. So let's say it's this one. Maggie, Steve Freeman is going to call Maggie. And we've got this great phone button right here. It says schedule power call. It's kind of tiny, but it's right there, up on our little action menu. When we click that, it will let me schedule a power call for myself, but if I'm an admin, so let's say, let's give an example, right? Let's say that FHA just decides that they are going to change the credit score requirements from 580 to 550, and you actually have an investor that will honor that. Let's just pretend, right? <laughs> Sometimes there's cool new programs that come out though that have like, lower down payment or down payment assistant or their assistance or there's like doctor loans very common someone's in med school they got a contract to be a doctor they can buy a house right so you've got one of those and you want all of your loan officers to call all of their database and tell them this so you can schedule this for a specific user yourself a team member whatever you like i'm going to use our fha example and i'm going to schedule this for tomorrow so i either admin or I, a loan officer, or if I've got delegation permission, a loan officer assistant can schedule this for you. So how nice would it be if you've got a loan officer assistant who's just teeing up your hour of power? Does anybody do an hour of power once a week? Yeah, 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 great, perfect. So you can schedule your hour of power and have all of these calls already scheduled for you and then you can just click to call and rip them off. That sounds weird, you know what I mean. <laughs> so we can click add. Now this, there is a new menu item under marketing called Power Call. So if I go here, I can see that I have some Power Call scheduled, right? I wanna call Hayes and tell him happy birthday. I wanna share the FHA change in FICO requirements. I wanna share that rates have dropped, whatever you like, right? So you can actually spin up a call queue of 25, 50, 100 people, and you can have this thing dial your calls for you one after another. So you can really stay focused, because I don't know about you, but. Wait, explain that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I go to this thing, I set up 10 calls, let's say, right? Or somebody sets up 10 calls. Yeah. Okay, so the, I hit call, I, I, I just click on call, and it ties into my phone. So it ties to your Surefire phone number that you claim. So that's a great question. So this is not going from your personal cell phone. Right, so it's gonna yeah. go, to, will it go to my office phone to dial it out or what? It will not. It will go to your special Surefire phone number. 
So you right. I know it's gonna come from the phone number. But oh, I'm where's the actual call coming from? Yeah, where am I actually gonna get the number? Yeah, yeah, right here. You're you're on your computer, so you're gonna get a little headset or your headphones. Oh, you know? okay. So yeah. phone or computer? Oh. Such a good question. This is the first time I've demoed this. I'm learning. <laughs> yeah. So just like a, a Zoom meeting or a GoTo meeting, you're talking straight in your computer of voice, right? Isn't that what it's called? Voice over internet. Voice over internet. Thank, Thank you. you. See, I'm a <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wait. So okay. So yeah. Me, me, so okay. So I, I go hit it. I'm on my headset. Yep. Uh, they don't answer. Yeah. You have like five seconds before the next phone call hits. Yeah. <laughs> let me, <laughs> let me, let, yeah. Like you're like eating the clock. I'll show you. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Do it. Let's do it. I, I want to see it. Maggie, so is this power calls? Does that show up now on the menu? Yeah, yeah. So power calls is, is not. Wait, I'm lying to you. I just said yeah, yeah. No, you don't have power calls yet in your menu. It is in beta. It will be released this month. You will get an email announcement, and then there will be an in-app announcement. We're definitely going to shout this from the ceiling, uh, rooftop, wherever, somewhere high. I need my cell phone so I can turn the ringer on so you guys can hear my phone. <laughs> and then while you're doing that, yeah. So, and I'm assuming now. None of, the, none of these calls show up in my Outlook or anything, right? This is just, I would have to schedule like an hour of power calls in my Outlook and then go to go into Surefire. Let's say it's my Outlook calendar. So your Outlook calendar should sync to Surefire if you have it integrated. So. See, I probably don't, so that's another thing. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> so on your, let's just jump out here real quick before I, before I hit dial, because this is going to be fast, it's, it's not, it, it is a simple tool, right? But under integrations, I don't have Outlook integrated in here, but you could. So you could integrate your calendar, schedule your power calls, go on your calendar, show up in your Outlook, and then off you go, right? I probably make it sound so easy. <laughs> well, yeah, you're just going through these things. I'm like, oh, really? You can do it. No, I, I, that's what I thought. Yeah. I have a question. <laughs> It is a task, yeah. So then when you complete it, it comes off of there. It also updates the contact record of who's last contacted. So let's say that you're looking through all of your contacts and you have them sorted by oldest to newest last contacted. If you make a call from the system that's going to update, call them from your cell phone. It's on you to update the contact record. So calling from the system is going to make your life a lot easier when you're keeping track of how often you've contacted your leads. Also, for the loan officers that are in the room that are going to be asking for a pricing exception or a concession, having all of your last contacted leads would be a great thing to bring to your manager right before you ask for that concession, right? <laughs> yes? I think maybe you'll get to this, but let's, once you hang up a call, is there an opportunity? Are you able to take notes in that contact? Yeah, let's see what it looks like, huh? Okay. Yeah, ready? <laughs> all right, so let's do it. Let's call. Okay, so I've got a script here. So for the admins in the room, you can set up call scripts. So Jonas, lucky enough that we have him in the room, he's joined us. So if you've got a frog script, it says, hey, you know, what's going on with your family? What's going on with your recreation, right? Occupation, goals. If you have that already all set up, you've got your script here already. We have a pre-recorded voicemail already here. Let's see if we can play it. Hi, this is Maggie May from ABC Mortgage, and I just wanted to let you know that FHA has changed their FICO requirements. Um, they dropped them from 580 to 550, and we do have an investor here that is willing to go as low as 550. So please let me know if I can help any of your clients who may have been previously denied for a loan due to credit score. Look forward to chatting. My number is 360-631-7166. Hope you have a great day. So that I'm gonna assume that's probably that. No, no, let's that, let's that, give that, it that, that, that voice, that pre-recorded message only kicks in if, if it goes to a voice mode. Yeah, exactly. So if you're if you say dial. Yeah, yeah. let's let's say dial. Does that oh. automatically go or do you get to click check it if you want to go? Let's see what the voice is. Now you just give everybody your home number. That's fine. Alright, so I, I think you guys should listen to my voice now because it's funny, but maybe not. Hi, we reached Maggie May. Thank you for calling. Please send me a text message instead of leaving me a voicemail. I look forward to chatting with you. Thanks. Bye. 
The mailbox is full and cannot accept any message. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay, so we can't leave a message. I might clear some voicemail out so I can show you that we left a message. However, we can put some notes in here and we can schedule our next call. So let's just say notes, voicemail is full, couldn't, right, leave a message. And then we can schedule, because I didn't get a hold of her, so I can schedule to say I want to make another call tomorrow, and then we can hit save, and we're all set. Yes? Question. So you guys have done a nice job, uh, Ellen Burrish. Uh, do you have the ability to uh, send a pre email, formatted email, to the call that you just left a message to? Check out this email if it's of any interest. You came all back. Yeah, yes. The answer to that question is yes. That is not in this environment, though. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but yes. So That's you'll cool. be able to schedule a follow up email, shoot that off. You'll be able to shoot off a text message instead, like the outgoing message saying, hey, don't leave me a voicemail, and then clearly I couldn't. So I could shoot off a text message, right, instead of some of those finicky millennials that never check their phones. So, <laughs> that only want to take loadouts over text, okay? So that's what you could do. Um, the great thing about this is in the event that, you, now you'll use this for your power calls and you might have different things that you'll talk to people about at different times. So each one of these, we haven't shown this yet, but I'll into it, go into it. You can see these call reasons are all different. And that's because they're actually tied to the media library type. We have a new type in the media library. So before we had SMS, postcard, email, let me get them all, social, right? And so now we also have phone calls. So you can see that I've got different people to contact about different things. So the voicemails that are attached to this media type, let's jump in there and take a look at it is different for each person. So when you are going to go click to leave that pre-recorded voicemail, I don't want to leave a FICO change to 550 for the person I'm trying to call about happy birthday. So it's not the same voicemail for all 25 calls you need to make. It is tied to the individual contact record, the individual thing that you want to say. So you can leave a generic happy birthday message and you can automate all your happy birthday phone calls. Uh, and But you can have 25 different, let's say you had 25 different reasons for calling, they can all be different. So this is my new media type called phone call. So if we edit, this should look for most of you very familiar, right? So if I wanted to add a media type such as email, to send the email out maybe at the same time as the phone call that I'm going to do, I could do that. I can also add SMS, etc. This is where the admins or yourself will set up your phone script. So remember, what do I say if they pick up the phone? You can put that in there. So when you're dialing, you don't have to try to remember that it's John's birthday, but then you want to talk to Jane about loan programs. It's already all there for you in the script. And then we've also got the voicemail. Let's see if I can expand this for you. Right, so this is the voicemail that I wanted to leave. And then we can record a new voicemail down here if we wanted to. What's this under? This is in the media library. So if we, let's go back. We were to create a brand new collection, so let's just say happy birthday. So let's just do that real quick. See if I can't spell, guys. It will automatically default to email. So we're like, oh, how do I make this a phone call? Add new media type. And then there's all the other things that you can do. So it's in the collections, right? Because we say kind of the same stuff. So happy birthday, you don't want to be going to 16 different places for happy birthday. You want all your happy birthday messages in one spot. So you've got a happy birthday text message, a happy birthday <coughs> postcard, a happy birthday Facebook post, right? All of those things all in one spot. So if we've got credit score change requirements, everything you want to say to somebody about that in any media you want to say it is already all available for you in Surefire. What other questions? Yes. Do you have the availability on the phone calls to go to slide dial, or do you have a function built in the program similar to a slide dial? Such, such a good question. So slide dial has actually, there are two states that have made that now illegal to go straight to someone's voicemail. So there is no slide dial functionality in this, but you can leave the voicemail in the background while you're queued up the next call. So once it hits the beep, you hit the play button, you go to the next call and then you just make the next call. Or if you have 25 calls, one after another, it'll make them. But no way to directly leave it on someone's voicemail because it will be hard for us to manage 50 different instances of that. Or you just queue them up in slide aisle without using this system. You could. You can continue to use slide aisle 
until, but your contact record won't update, so you won't know when the last contact it was. You'd have to remember to go in and make the note, but you could do it. So that brought up a good question about yeah. phone number. So you know, so obviously slide dial, you know, the number shows up, but it doesn't go up. Yep. So they're gonna see a number of, of whatever number we're using, and yeah. let's say they call it back, what happens? It will, that's a good question. I don't or remember. It will ring yourself. It will ring yourself? yourself? Yeah, I was like, I could call it back right now. We could find out. <laughs> Hello, I've been calling myself. Remember when you were a kid and you would prank your parents who'd call the house phone? No? Okay. <laughs> yes. So, going Thanks, back guys. to scheduling these calls, if I have a large team and I've got three dialers on my team and I want to view who gets through the most, who gets who gets the most conversion, or, or what if I create emails that go out with links, how do I monitor that and manage that? Yeah, so you would schedule a power call and you would delegate it, right? And then you would say, Sansa Stark is making these phone calls, and then you could look in their account, see who's getting through, who's doing what. Do you have any reports coming so to compare if I have multiple dialers so I can see who's doing accountability, uh, most calls, most get throughs, all that stuff? Yeah, reporting will be available. It's not available yet. So first thing we do is we build it, and then everything we build, we come to realize we need reporting for everything we build, and then they'll be reporting. Yep. We'll certainly have to, have to give you reporting. You have to have it. Not that I'm, I'm not a user as of yet. Okay. I No, you have reports right in the system. So, so it's a, you have a custom report generator. Yes. So you can you can select like what field you want, and then there's also let me just show you. There's also like fast reports, and this is a good thing to show everyone because reporting is another thing that we haven't done a great job of sharing with you and telling you how awesome the new reports are. So if you are in your system and you go right to reports, you can see everybody who's got a birthday today, which looks like my account is kind of sad. Let's go all, let's try day range of all time. <laughs> Clearly, I don't have contacts in here, guys. Let's see what we have. Uh, I know I have some for January. Boom, Randy Refinance has a birthday in January. So I can see all of my birthdays if I wanted to in my birthday report. There are other reports in here as well, right? We've got contacts added, contacts added by source. So who's using Zillow, long form, or bank rate? Anybody getting leads from any other source? Okay. If you were, you can do contacts by source, you can do referred by, so maybe you and John Smith are partnered and you want to make sure that John gets a report of all of the things that he referred you, things, people, these are people, all the people that he's referred you, you wanted to have a report of that every week, you could do that too. I know I've gone totally down a rabbit yes. trail, but yeah. So would that be similar to like Boomtown? I don't know anything about Boomtown, who knows? Well, it's yes, a lead it system, yeah. Okay. It's, it's a lead system that I, I partner with a realtor on. Okay. But there's a totally different boomtown system that we can keep track of everything, but I'm wondering if... Yeah. Yeah. We did, re we released a new feature called Pulse that'll email you whatever you want every day, every week, every month. So you can see everyone referred by John and you and John can both get a copy of it every week at 9 a.m. if you want. Can you do custom workflows and then have those workflows feed into the new dialing? Yes. So let's say that you have a workflow that's like a 90 day refinance drip and you want to make sure that you schedule a call with that person every three weeks. You put it on the workflow, the workflow schedules it and it goes in your power calls and then we'll just tell you, hey, call this person. But those are all task related. Are there any with time sensitivity on the night the workflow was created? So like 90 days from now, do this? No, yes. No, let's, say, let's say I have a workflow that says a new lead came in off a, a landing page. Oh, yeah, sure. And I want that call to be called in 10 minutes. Yeah, you can schedule that. Okay. Yep. You can also not have them get the text message response instantly. Like maybe that was creepy for you guys. Maybe you wanted to give it another two minutes instead. <laughs> 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 or you want your agent partner to think you're working really hard. Maybe you want that to come to them 10 so, minutes instead. <laughs> so what's available now on, with phone call stuff? Because you mentioned this is all beta. Yeah. Is it all in beta? Or it's all in beta. You can't make any calls from the system right now, but text messaging is live right now. But this will be released this month and we will make a big deal of it. There will be an announcement, there will be training, we will make sure that you guys know how to do phone calls from the system if you want to. Could you record your voice message? Oh yeah, cool. Let's do that. I don't think I showed that to you. Thanks for asking. All right, let's jump into you. Oh, that's an SMS test. That's fine. We will oh. add a new media type called phone call. And then we'll come down here. 
Am I in the, I'm not even in the right of my room. Boom! <laughs> I've been going back and forth between environments. <laughs> yeah, really? Okay. So you do it under marketing? Yeah. So you go, so it's a, it is part of a marketing collection, right. right? So anything that you do in Surefire that is a message that you are going to deliver more than one time, it's in the, it's in your media library under collections. So here's our phone call and we can go record voicemail. Now it's, give me a warning because I already have a voicemail recorded with saying, Hey, you're going to override your existing. Sure. Yeah. Hello, this is Maggie May at Surefire Summit. I'm so glad you were able to attend. I love talking with you and I can't wait to find out how I can help you grow your business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, no? Instead of recording directly, is the way to upload? Is it like an MP3? Or? No. So, get you get you a little, a little mic and then record it. <laughs> well, I mean, it, here we go. In our in our space. Oh, this is Maggie May, Summit. So glad we were able to attend. I love talking with you and I can't wait to find out how I can help you grow your business. Ooh. So, you know, good mic. Oh, good mic is good. <laughs> yeah, question. I missed the part you can save it and label it so you've got multiple recordings based on your different type of call. Yes. So I am in here in the media collection. So this is this particular one is all about the change in FHA requirements, which isn't a real change, by the way, so don't, 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 do not ask me for guidelines ever. <laughs> but if you have a happy birthday voicemail, right? Yeah. And so you have 25 people that have 25 different reasons for calling. You are going to get that script every time that call cues. You'll get the right script for the right person. So you don't have to try to remember, oh, it's Jane for a birthday, and John for a loan anniversary, and Annie for a new program, right? It's all right there in front of you, and you just rip through your hour of power. I bet you were going to cut your hour of power down to 15 minutes. That doesn't even sound good. 15 minutes of power? What is that? 